Okay guys, so welcome to another video. Today what I'm going to be doing is like, I'm going to teach you how to play the game step by step. I've been doing these little helpful videos, but now I'm going to do the entire game start to finish in a few videos. So this is our spawn point. It's nothing special. We've got some caves. Nice access to the ocean. Oh, a village! Never mind, this is a nice spawn point. So this can be your village exploration guide. So the taiga is useful because wolves spawn there and wolves make adorable pets. Like, stupidly adorable. And then they walk around and kill things for you. And you can name them, and they bark. And when they get wet, they shake it all off. Cats are also really cute, though. And they also have special capabilities. But those only spawn in villages, and those are much harder to find. But there's only one type of wolf, and there's several types of cats. So, for this video, we're just going to be, like, building a house and getting basic tools. Oh, it's not a village. It's a zombie village. Basically, zombie villagers are where, like, ev all, those, all the villagers are dead. And it's full of cobwebs. Like, see here is a zombie villager. Oh, guys, one of these days I might show you a friend of mine. But maybe. No, no promises. It's so hard to fight these things. Here we go. So let's see. So we got a bed. Smithing tables are especially useful. Especially if you ever get netherite. I can hear cats. So this is a cartography place. This is the chest. There's bread, there's paper. Oh, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in there. Oh, that's that's a cat right there. This right here is a cat. They're afraid of people. Hi. See, it's running away. We're going to get this brewing stand. You never know when it'll all come in helpful. Wait. Am I standing next to a... <laughs> I'm standing next to a zombie villager. Apples, bread. Oh, and I should teach you guys how to double click. So basically what happens is to separate things... You press them, and then this will happen. It shows, like, the percentage of which. So now I have 15 and 8. And say you want the 8 to go back into the 15, or if this were to happen. So what you would do is if you wanted to go, go into the 15, you'd tap the 15 really quickly twice, like this. And then it'd all go back. Let's see here. Hay bales, always useful. Sometimes zombie villages feel like living in a zombie apoc apocalypse. But they're kind of glitchy, so sometimes they'll like leave you alone. Minecraft is not without its glitches, but that's sometimes a good thing. Don't want to dang eat it. I need uh, my bread. So guys, don't be afraid to eat. 
Oh, a score, a saddle. So now I have a nice coat and pants. Potatoes. Hmm. This is a nice village. But I will be heading back to Spawn Point because it had a lot of caves. I want to get a horsey though. No, the beats are useless to me. Okay, so we'll be heading back to Spawn now. We have our bed. So now we have to get stone weapons and we have to build a basic house. Doesn't have to be a mansion, it can just be a basic house. So yeah, this is gonna be one of my longer videos. One time? So I found this village, I was like, oh cool. And then I saw another one, and then another one, and then I, I saw a desert temple, and then I was coming back, and then I saw an outpost, so I was like, there are five things around, there are five things around my spawn point. Like, that's just crazy. So let's see here. We can get stone tools. Oh, we have a bunch of massive caves. We can get stone tools easily. So we should go get some wood. And when underwater, always be sure to watch your wa your water bubbles. Because when they hit zero, you will start taking damage until you reach the surface. It will mean that you are drowning. Same goes when you're underneath... Well, when you're inside any block, but primarily gravel or sand. So let's just be patient. Wait. Alright, I don't have a crafting table on me. So all we need is a wooden pickaxe. That's literally all we need. I don't know, where would be the easiest way to go at this? <gasps> oh, here we go. Easy peasy. So if you want to get an axe, a pickaxe, a sword, and a furnace, you need 16. <laughs> to add to that, you can do get a hoe and a shovel, or you can add to that. A hoe takes two stone, and a shovel takes one. So you can make it like... Something just shoot at me. Oh, no. So I have 16 here. Come on. And then a furnace. Just gotta get all these things up front. All right. So now where should our house be? Because our house could be any shape or size, and I'm not joking. There are all sorts of formats. Let's see. I think I'll just do a really, a really simple one. Uh, it's hard to find a flat space, though. Wee. This 
So I'm going to get a bunch more wood and then I'm going to head back to my little island. Okay, so we're back at the island, and there's plenty of places to build. Actually, there isn't really. If we remove the... Hang on. I'm like, what on me? Doesn't have, like... What is this called? It, like, breaks eventually? What doesn't break and what do I not have to eat that is in my inventory? And it was my bed and this wheat, this hay bale. Gosh, I love being able to see so far. I used to be able to like... I wouldn't be able to see to the village. Like that island over there, I'd be that's as far as I'd be able to see to. It was like being blind. Horrible. Okay, so let's see. Let's just do a little five by five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, and then, ta-da, so the door goes in here, and then we can add little spaces for windows. Like this. So you can do your house in all sorts of styles. I'll make a video on like styles of houses. More wood. So yeah, these forests are fun to explore, and they also appear in snowy biomes. You can find foxes in these areas, they're adorable. And in the snowy areas, the foxes are white. The sad thing about foxes, though, is the wolves attack them. And so do players who are having a hard time, because the foxes don't actually serve a particular use. Other than sometimes, sometimes they have an emerald in your mouth, in their mouth. If you see like a green thing in their mouth, kill them and they'll drop the emerald, or give them something else to hold. If you give them like a piece of sand, they'll drop the emerald and take this. Oh dang it! Right over there is a drowned holding a trident, and those things are not only terrifying, they're terrifying and they can easily kill you. Like, they can three-shot you. But I, I have practice. So you have to get close enough so it can't shoot at you. And they have to kill it. So it didn't drop the shrimp, but it did drop, drop the Nautilus shell. These can be used to craft things that can help you breathe underwater. And also they make cool decorations. Oh. My 
Minecraft is super useful because it helps me with my multiplication facts. Hang on. So this is going to be where my crafting table will go. First, I'm going to put in the door. Houses without, without doors suck. Also, another thing is when I was like a noob, I thought that you didn't need crafting tables. But remember, you actually do need crafting tables. How many of... Okay. So it's beep. Uh, I was worried that it was gonna getting it was like getting darker already. I'm one short. The timing. It's too good to be ignored. That sucks. So now I have five that I don't need. So I'm just gonna go make some torches and then that will be it for the video. And if you're worried about this series, I will continue it, so don't worry. I just need a bit of coal. But all I see is a spider. Oh, no, 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 no. Creeper, creeper. Those things explode. Like, if you stand too close to them, they will kill you. Take it from countless... Take it from countless YouTubers' experience. Iron, but no coal. And a bunch of gravel. Oh, there we go. I can barely see a thing. But I do see that there's an ore. And I do see that it's a dark ore. So that tells me that it's coal. I thought there was something there. I thought I was like going to walk into something. Light. All right. So we have four torches. Also, another wonderful thing about that village is you can use it to get what you can use it to get string, and you use string to make fishing rods. And with this massive ocean here, you can get all sorts of things with the fishing rods. Alright, so let's see, this will be it for this video. Next, we're gonna get iron. Oh. And try to find a better way to get diamonds. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching this. Because it supports the series. And also just generally makes me feel better about my life. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, because I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will continue this. Final warning.